I've been getting asked about artisan mouse pads for years. Every time I stream, I probably see the question four or five times. So if I sound disappointed with these, it's because I was so hyped up that I thought they were going to be game changing. But they're not. They're just high quality mouse pads. As in, they're well made. Which is good, don't get me wrong. But when it comes to a mouse pad, what really matters is the surface. If it is too slow or fast for you, it won't matter how well it's made. You're not going to want to use it. Now, a big shout out to Brian from Tech Air City, who bought three artisan mouse pads for me while in Japan, and also helped me out with this video. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. But first, here's a look at the three pads. You can see the stitching is beautiful. Really nice bases too. These pads are really well made. And they come in multiple sizes too, with a lot of different surfaces. We got the Hayate, Zero, and Shidenkai. Two standard cloth pads and a glass hybrid one. Now, as you saw by the gameplay, I did a lot of testing in real game situations. But for the sake of this video, I thought it would be fun to just jump in game while I give my own take on each and have Brian give his experience too. Spoiler, our experience actually matched up a fair bit. I think we might have similar preferences. Anyway, here we go. Okay, so for the height, I find that there's just not much control on it. It's very much a speed cloth pad. And I'm not getting the control I want. I'm definitely a control player. So while I can play with this, and this is just against bots, so obviously it's easy and I probably won't really miss much. In an actual game, like a competitive game, I wouldn't be reaching for this pad. I wouldn't feel confident enough, I wouldn't feel solid with it. I think it's going to come down to the feet and also the mouse you're using. Uh, the sensors are all tracking fine on it, so I don't think we're going to have a problem like that. It's a matter of what you actually want in terms of feel with the mouse feature you're using and the weight of the mouse you have. And I mean, maybe this is going to be a bit better for heavy mice, but for a mouse like the Ultralight 2, and a player that likes control, this is definitely not the pad. And that's why I say it's fine, like I can play with it. I would do fairly well with it, but would I be playing my best? I don't think so. So I'm gonna have to give this one a pass, as in I don't want to use it, but it is a good pad. It's really well made, just like the others. It's just not for me. And that's mouse pads. That's why I didn't really review them. They're all personal preference, and I'm working with some theories. I'm not confident on them yet. But for now, it's just going to be what you like, and it's really hard to communicate exactly what's going to suit who. And that's why, yeah, I tend to avoid mouse, re mouse pad reviews these days. Yeah, good pad, well made, just not for me. So this is the Hayate, which I'm guessing comes from Hayai in Japanese, which means fast, and that's exactly what this pad is. It's a speed type of pad where you are going to lose control and I feel like for me personally I'm losing too much control on this mouse pad where little shots at the end like I can hit my shots sure but like little shots at the end I, I find myself sometimes missing with that and I personally would like a little bit more control despite the mouse pad itself having great build quality uh, and having great sensor tracking so the sensor's not skipping out whatsoever it's doing a great job but um, that being said, it's just not the pad for me. As for the Zero, it's very similar to the Hate, but it does have a bit more control, so I'm liking that. However, there's still no force at the end, so I'm not feeling like I'm stopping exactly where I want to. So if I was in competitive play, where I was really trying to win, I don't think I'd actually be using this pad in those pressure situations, because that's what this is really about. You can play pretty well on most pads, uh, they're all about the same these days. However, when it comes to the crunch and you're actually in a pressure situation, the tension's high, I think you need that extra bit of control and you just need that extra confidence that you're going to be able to aim your best. And I don't feel like I can get that with this one. Although, it's not too far off. Just I've been using a lot of pads lately and those ones were a bit better for what I want. Again, personal preference, it is a speed cloth pad in my opinion, it has a slippery feel and that's what I'm not really a fan of, so yeah, not for me, but again, really well made pad, great pad, just yeah, personal preference as always. So for the Zero, which is the Japanese way of saying it, uh, it means zero, this is basically zero 
I guess, restriction. That's what they're getting at with this. Um, it's a similar style to the Hayate, and I agree with what Zai said. Uh, and the thing is, the sensor still tracks absolutely fine. Like, there's no problems with your sensor tracking on these mouse pads. The build quality is fantastic. But at the end of the day, I just, it's not for me. Like, I still find from very afar, I just have trouble microing on, in on those tough shots. And so I prefer a mouse pad basically with a little bit more control. Now the Shidenkai. This one, I think it's got some glass or something in it. And I mean, there's less control on this one. It feels more like a hard pad. It's hybrid, I would call it. And yeah, I'm, again, high quality, well made, just too fast for me. These pads unfortunately went off for me. I think Artisan do make pads that are more control based but unfortunately we don't have them here so I'm li I'm using a limited sample range of course I can't test out the whole range all I can tell you really about artisan pads is that they're really high quality really well made you just have to find out which one's going to be right for you but unless I go through their entire range I wouldn't be able to really give you advice on that what I will tell you about this glass pad though is that with these soft flexible cables they actually catch so when I do this you can't hear it over the game, but that's catching. In fact, I just took some of the mouse pad off, I think. Some of the cable off. So I wouldn't recommend these with paracords or any of these soft flexible braids. You kind of want the hard braid or rubber. So I would, I mean, all the top mice these days have really nice cables. I would stay away from this sort of pad with the glass infused in it or whatever it is. Because yeah, that's, you can actually feel it catching. In a bungee, not too bad. You can get away with it, but yeah, I mean, even, I think the mouse feed just caught on that a bit. So, not a fan of this style. It feels pretty good in game if you want that fast sort of movement. But not a good idea when it comes to actual general use and everything. Because, yeah, that's just catching everywhere. This pad here, honestly, I gotta say, it's my favorite of the bunch. Where it's got a bit of speed, but it still has more control than the Hayate and the Zero, in my opinion. Now, they've done some weird thing where they've infused grain, uh, glass, sorry, into the mouse pad. And I guess that gives it that little bit more control than the other two pads. But at the same time, it's still got that smooth glide. I don't know what to say. I, I must admit, this one's a little bit awkward in that I've never felt a mouse pad like it. Um, but I will say that I do prefer it over the other two pads that I've tried here. So I don't know what to take out of this one. Would I use it as my main? Probably not still as I do really like uh, those grippy kind of mouse pads. But this one out of the Artisan mouse pads that I've tried definitely gets the nod of approval and being the best uh, that I've tried so far. Keep in mind that as I said before, the paracord cables can kind of grip the pad. but Luckily for me, I'm using in a position where the paracord's not touching the actual mouse pad itself, so... So, Brian, what are we thinking of the Artisan mouse pads? So, the Artisan pads were really good in that they hit the mark with build quality and sensor tracking. I found nothing wrong there. But at the end of the day, it comes down to the materials used on the pad and whether those materials are going to be for you in that that sense I prefer a control style mouse pad and that's got grip and so the three of the pads that we tested here today as you said they felt more like speed pads than they did in terms of control where I preferred the Shidenkai which is the one I'm using now where it gave me a little bit more control over the other two when it comes to picking a mouse pad just like a mouse's shape you have to pick what's right for you and there's so many different fabrics out there even within artisan i think they've got so many more different pads that we didn't get to try you just got to try what's best for you and know what you want at the end of the day and i know what i want and that's uh control on my mouse pad so even something like a razor goliathus would be serving me better than these three pads okay so thanks again to brian for stopping by to give some thoughts and also for getting them for me in the first place it was great to finally see what these pads were like but they were a bit underwhelming because of the hype. The main takeaway from this is that they're high quality pads, but you have to get the one that's right for you. And the only way I could really do a video to recommend one for you would be to buy them all and do proper speed tests on each one. Considering they're not that easy to get, I'd rather stick to reviewing pads from the main companies I already work with. At least that way, the majority of people will be able to buy them. However, I'll have a few more mousepad videos coming out this year, so stay tuned for those. 
usual links in the description if you want to help support what I do. And as always, subscribe, like and share this video, and I'll catch you in the next.